cool, Mayor Adams. You know they already came after you once you start talking about what the federal government is doing so wrong when it comes to the illegal immigration and stuff, right? And now you're going to go and say something like this as almost as if you're supporting Trump? You know they about to come after you now. What is going on everybody? I am Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I really do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure that you are following me on all the platforms you see above and below and clicking this thumbs up button right here is how my content can consistently be recommended to you. Double check and make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel because there's a good chance you have been unsubscribed to the channel. All right. Appreciate you all. All right, folks. So um, we all know that today, right now, at this present time, almost 3 30 uh central time that president trump has made his way to the place that he helped build and make it put a name on the map which is new york we all know that new york has been like the stage of controversy over the last years with them trying to defund the police uh governor DeSantis in florida recruiting the policemen from new york who took so much hell because of all the black lives matter movement them wanting to um defund the police Police being attacked by illegals. Oh, my God. What more can we say? Uh, Letitia James coming after President Trump. Ingeron coming after President Trump. All the mess that's going on there. And yet President Trump shows up and goes to Madison Square Garden and completely sold it out like it is completely full max to capacity, ladies and gentlemen. And it uh, have some people concerned. Because there were some people that felt like he shouldn't even be there. Y'all, these people that are doing this, you have to understand this. These people are driven by a globalist agenda to where one minute when things were seemingly decent, when Trump wasn't running, when Trump wasn't showing who he really was in regards to how he felt about America, things were fine. You know, Joe Rogan spoke about it on his uh, podcast the other night when he was asking Trump. About, do you remember when you appeared on View and how everybody loved you, you know, things like that? It was the episode of you when you're on The View. And I think it was 2015 or 2006, like when you were running for president. Right. And you sat, you got introduced as our friend Donald Trump. That's right. Whoopi Goldberg gives you a big hug and a kiss. Joy Behar gives you a big hug. Barbara Walters gives you a big hug. They all loved you. Yeah, when he said all that. Well, when Trump went on The View, look how they responded. Donald Trump is a billionaire, a real estate mogul, and a television star. But does he really want to add president of the United States to his resume? A lot of people would like him to. Please, let's find out. And please welcome my friend, Donald Trump. <laughs> Whenever you're on, whenever you're on with us, we're very happy. They were all talking about how you're, uh, you, you might be. You might be conservative in your financial positions, but you're very liberal socially. They were they were talking about you in such a favorable yeah. light. The audience was cheering, and then you actually started winning in the polls, and then the machine started working towards you. Yeah, but it's. There's probably no one in history that I've ever seen that's been attacked the way you've been attacked and the way they've done it so coordinated and systematically. When you see those same people in the past, very favorable to you. Yeah, so all the our friend giving them kisses, oh, sit down, da 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 Then Trump ran and all of a sudden he's like, wait a minute, you, you, weren't, you weren't supposed to be about an America first agenda. You weren't supposed to be about helping the Americans. You, 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 we thought you were like one of us type of elites where we can control you and tell you what we want you to say and do. And he didn't do that. And all of a sudden, flip the script. He's a bigoted. He's a misogynist. He's a rapist. He's a sexist. He's a, all kinds of racism and everything. Trump just turned into this complete worst enemy that anybody can think of. 
because he went against the agenda that they thought that he was going to be a part of. And he completely flipped it on them. He made it about you and me, the, the regular average American citizen here in the United States, right? Now, with them being up here in a place where everybody known him as Mr. New York himself, I, pretty, I mean, pretty much, Donald Trump is Madison Square Garden. And people got pissed off. Mayor Eric Adams, how can you let this happen? How can you let this happen? We just knew that you was going to be against this because we felt and thought that you were. And sure enough, Mayor Eric Adams, he said something that I don't think they're going to like. Check it out. I know um, what uh, Hitler has done, and I know what a fascist uh, regime looks like. Uh, I think, as I've called over and over again, that um, the level of conversation, I think we could all dial down the temperature. And I've heard people say that uh, the uh, former president should not be able to have rally in Madison Square Garden. I strongly disagree. Uh, this is America. This is New York. Uh, and I think it's important that we allow individuals to exercise their right. So hold on. This man is already in hot water because he went against the machine. We all know that. Merrick Eric Adams was okay. Nobody agreed. A lot of, not, let me not say nobody. Let me slow down. A lot of people did not agree with the way Merrick Eric Adams handled a lot of things in New York, right? But then when Mayor Eric Adams started speaking out, about this immigration problem, the illegals, and all this money that's being spent, and how the federal government needs to step it up because this is becoming an issue, it's a problem. All of a sudden, bam, he's hit with investigations and everything about things he was doing with foreign affairs and things like that. He's just getting hit with all kinds of stuff. And now that this portion has come out, and they're, how can you allow him? How can you? He's like, and I'm a person that believes that this free speech, oh, wow, wait a minute. So now, the undertones of you, Mayor Eric Adams, is you agree that we have an immigration problem. You spoke out against that immigration problem. You spoke out that the federal government need to do something because this is an issue. Got you in trouble. And now you want to talk about free speech? Yeah, they definitely about to, you probably about to have all hell and brimstone coming upon you, Mayor Eric Adams, because you should not say nothing like that. Are you sounding like you're pro-Trump? It's pretty much where they're getting at, because you know good and goddamn going well. You better not, Negro, because if you... So in other words, they get ready. Get your butt back on that plantation, boy. You know what's about to happen. Am I wrong? If you disagree, let me know. Otherwise, y'all, let me know what y'all think about all this right here. Do you think that the reason why they are coming at Mayor Eric Adams like they... Like I mentioned with all those different things with the immigration and with the fact that he's talking about free speech now, or they really had something on him and it was just going to do it anyway. How convenient. Whatever the case may be, you guys let me know in the comment section. Do not forget to do what you see going on in this cloud right here, ladies and gentlemen. If you would, please tell one person that's in your cell phone about this channel and encourage them to subscribe to the channel. Check it out in its entirety and all that good stuff. I would greatly appreciate it. Next video that I will be doing in chronological order will most likely be up here. Things that I do as a variety on this channel will be right down here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.